does it always do that? Cuts off my head. Oh, the red. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a fun bit. I don't want to start like that. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. She starts just like that again. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a new friend who has just joined the rescue and joined the chaos that is in my home. And yes, she is in the bathroom, the scandalous bathroom, the one in which we quarantine. So let me give you a backstory before I just go in and show you what's going on. Sorry, I just thought someone was dying downstairs. I think we're good. Hi, it's about you. Yeah, it's gonna be about you. On Thursday night, I got a message from one of the vet techs who works at a veterinary hospital near us and said, hey, we've got a kitten with a deformed jaw and a dislocated shoulder who needs rescue. And I said, that sounds like a mess. Tell me more. And she sends me this picture. Look at her, she's just a mess. Now by the picture, she looks really big, but when we dive into it, you'll understand she's actually just very small. <laughs> and it turns out that this little girl has a pretty severe overbite. And that means that her top teeth and her bottom teeth don't align in any way. So like this is about what we're working with with her jaw, where a normal jaw would be, you know, like that. This is, this is about what we're working with here. So if you can imagine one who cannot chomp and is also living on the streets, she was uh, not getting the nutrition that she needed. And so the only thing that we really know about this girl is that she cannot eat dry food because again, we have, we have no chomping abilities and she must be on a wet food exclusive diet. What I was not warned about is how much of a mess she is, but I feel like maybe that's slanderous. So before, before I get into too much, detail. Let me at least show you this really cute girl whose name is Fox. Fennec Fox or Fennec or Foxy or whatever you want to call her. And she's so cute. It, and I don't want to hear anything about the mess. Okay, this girl likes to dive her face into her food and then it gets all over here and then she'll like shake her head or she'll sneeze and it'll go everywhere and it's all over her blanket currently so we're gonna do a blanket change as well. <laughs> Cause she's a mess. Um, so just keep that in mind when you see this. Hello. Hi, baby. You got a mama goat? What are you doing? You're so freaking cute. You gonna come say hello? Can I come to you? Hi, baby girl. Wow. Whenever I get the camera out, she's just very shy. <laughs> So, since you couldn't really tell from there, here is a picture of kind of what her jaw looks like. So like I said, we don't have a top and bottom meeting at all. So she can't chomp, she can kind of just slurp. So we've had trial and error with a few things. We can't do full on like soft food. We have to make this like little slurry, delicious. And she basically has to dive in head first and, and eat as much as she can. Earlier, a minute ago, I said she came in, like her intake picture makes it look like she's a bigger girl. She's about five, maybe six weeks old, maybe, maybe five or six weeks old. And she weighs only 250 grams. 250 grams is the size of a kitten who is between two and three weeks old, or, or even like, like on the transitionary between two and three weeks and then going up. So she's very small for a five to six week old. Initially when she came in, I was very worried about her being able to like gain weight on her own. So we had constructed this really beautiful thing to try to tube feed her. I can, I, I can show you like a little bit of the process here while I talk over it. But essentially because she has teeth, we don't know if she can actually just like take, if the teeth, oh my God. <laughs> Let me explain. So when you're tube feeding a kitten, usually you want to tube feed them like you guys have seen in this video. You want to tube feed kittens when they're just gummy because if they're just gummy, you can put the tube right down. There's no risk of them biting the tube and severing it and then swallowing the parts of the tube. Are you gonna go to the bathroom? Are you gonna go potty? She says, I'm potty queen. Wow. Wow. Such a good girl. 
back to what I was saying. So kittens who have gums, tube feeding is safe. As long as you know how to do it, it is safe. Kittens who have teeth, it is unsafe. And don't ask me how I know. It's not like I've ever had a kitten that I've tried to tube feed with tube and he bit off the tube and I had to take him to the ER at 4 a.m. and they had to do surgery and basically remove the tube from his throat. That has never happened to me. Twice. Okay, listen. We all make mistakes, okay? But we're trying, we're learning. But this tube, I was not sure if her jaw, if like we we weren't, like she can't chomp food, right? There's no way she can chomp food with this, but do her teeth line up enough that if she chomps hard, she can chomp through this beautiful feeding tube. So I constructed this little thing, which looks like just a horrible little party hat. But really what it was is this part was gonna go in her mouth, so like, like this. And then this heart was gonna go around her head to keep this in place. And this is basically gonna be a protection for the tube. Boop. So when the, when the tube went in, we could get it down her throat in the right placement and she couldn't bite through it. So I went through the trouble of making that and I thought it was super genius. And then it turns out she actually can eat really well on her own. So she started at 250 grams and her last feeding, she was at 316 grams. She lost a little weight this morning, but that's because we started deworming her and she had worms and she's starting to pass those. So we're getting a little fluctuation in weight, but she should be okay. But besides that, I don't really know what we're looking at in terms of like jaw. Well, I know functionality. That's not what I was thinking. Words, Mary, think hard. I'm not sure what we're looking at in terms of what we'll need to do for her. Will we need to remove teeth? Will we need to have kitty braces, which is apparently a thing? Will we need to uh, have jaw surgery to try to bring it forward? I'm not sure what is going to be our road to recovery or road to thriving because right now we're doing pretty good in the recovery state but i plan to take you guys along with us um, my guess is we'll have to go see a specialist <laughs> she's going to be a fun case a little pricey but that's okay she's worth it look at her have you seen this face the cutest face that there ever was um but yeah that is uh this is our little girl fennec fox She's so cute and she's so sweet and she is just a goober. The goobiest goob. So yeah, um, uh, subscribe if you wanna follow her journey. We'll, we'll document it here. Unsubscribe if you accidentally subscribe because uh, you thought you were gonna get more moon pie because he's, he's been adopted. Anyway, love you guys, appreciate you guys. See you on the next one, goodbye.